Divinity manifests through superlative awareness, devotion, and effort. A direct manifestation of spirit attained only when self journeys beyond the confines of self. Hello, and welcome to the Ancient Wisdom Modern Mind Podcast. And today, I want to share with you the concept of impeccability. At its core, the concept of impeccability has as its guiding principle the idea of non-attachment. But this is not the traditional idea of detaching or unattaching from objects or material things. Impeccability is referring to the non-attachment of self from self's human agreement. See also related podcast, The Human Agreement, and the rational side of awareness. And before we start, I would like to take a moment to remind you to subscribe to this channel. So go ahead and click on the subscribe button. One could say that to act impeccably is essentially an act of detaching from your own point of view, a complete and impartial devotion to an awareness that questions all of society's social agreements. To act impeccably is to understand that your view of who you are is only a personal subjective agreement created by society and your own internal feedback. And so your own understanding of who you are is not real, but is the result of a subjective agreement between you and society. When you look at yourself in the mirror, then that is an objective perception of the self. A perception that you have collectively agreed is you. But if you step back and look at a larger group of people, and these people come together and form a community, and that community is one of many communities in a nation of people, then what do you see? Do you still see yourself? Or is self only one of many selves in a sea of selves? This is the subjective nature of the human perception. And one could say that in essence, self-identification is only relative from a specific social point of view. But this is not impeccable awareness. This is only the totality of your human perception and if you say, this is who I am, then that is your subjective idea of self-perceiving itself. But if instead you look at yourself and realize that who you are is relative to your point of view, then that is an impeccable understanding of self. That is self-awareness. Acting impeccably is not to deny the concrete because that would be against the nature of things. Impeccable acts are impersonal in the context that one fully accepts the completeness of existing, a glorying in the act of being and its objective nature. And yet simultaneously, one is aware of the subjective delusions that bind us. And this awareness of subjective attachment becomes an impeccable act. In the discarding of the human agreement, one stumbles upon the meaninglessness of mental deliberation and the emptiness of subjective rationalizations. In this emptiness, one acts because there is nothing but one's acts. To be is to be what one is to act because that is the objective nature of things. Yet we did not come to this self-realization by repeating human words or through emotional examination. We first must become empty so that our actions no longer follow the agreed social indulgence. One may say that the errant identity perceives self's mental flagellations and acts according to the nature of this emptiness. One acts because one must act to be, 
Things are things because of their acts. All things are meaningless, but through their acts, meaning is created. The illuminated being acts impeccably because there is no agreement to bind the mind. With the displacement of a human agreement, perceptions are clearer and less binding. Freed from its chains, awareness becomes a cosmic wind of impeccability. And if you like the podcast, I would like to also take a moment to remind you to subscribe to this channel or sign up to the newsletter if you would like to be notified when I release new content. And if you would like to support my work, then you can download the podcast for a small supporter's remuneration. Links are in the description. Here's to you and your fulfillment and growth into every tomorrow to come.